One of the things that we have to do, remember, as we try to make our five first Saturdays, is to spend at least 15 minutes in meditation. Meditation on the mysteries of the rosary. And it's perfect this month. The first Saturday falls on the Feast of Our Lady's Visitation, the second joyful mystery of the rosary. You can, it's always helpful to just imagine the scene. Imagine that you're part of this scene. Maybe you're just somebody following them from a distance, watching Mary and Joseph going into the hill country in Judea, walking, but not slowly. It says in the Gospel, Festinantes, that is, Our Lady went in a hurry. She wasted no time. See, she was not worldly in any respect. She didn't want to be in the world any longer than she needed to be, so she went hurriedly. She was rushing furthermore to do her act of of charity. But before we go and speak about that, let us go back to the house of Loretta in Nazareth and where Our Lady was kneeling in prayer, they say, And the archangel Gabriel comes and and announces to her that she is to be the mother of the Lord. And then at the end, she says, And thy cousin Elizabeth, Gabriel says, she too is with child. And this is the sixth month with her that is called barren. No more need be said. Our lady gets the message. She gets up quickly and she goes into the hill country of Judea. You see how quick she is to pick up on the inspirations of grace. The angel didn't have to tell her, I want you to go and visit your cousin. All he had to do was say, she is with child. And she knew what the angel wanted. That is how we should be, just a little bit more like that, when it comes to these inspirations of grace, these inspirations that we receive so often throughout the day to do good for someone or for something, to be maybe a little bit more charitable, to go out of our way to help someone, to go out of our way to come to church. Those inspirations, we should be like Our Lady and follow them quickly. Don't debate about them or wonder, well, maybe it's not an inspiration, maybe I'm okay. And we always try to justify ourselves just a little bit. That's fallen human nature. Just act. And you'll find that you'll become the saint that our Lord wants. In any case, Festinantes, she hurried up to perform this act of charity. She wasted no time. And when she got there, immediately she embraces her cousin Elizabeth. And the two infants, the one God-man in the womb of the Blessed Virgin, and the forerunner of Christ, St. John the Baptist, in the womb of his mother, St. Elizabeth. As these two women embraced and gave each other the kiss of peace, St. John recognized the presence of his king and of his savior. And out of joy for being so close to his savior, he leapt for joy and he was purified at that moment in his mother's womb from original sin. What a beautiful thing to think about. And after all, that is what the presence of our Lord And Our Lady does. It brings about good. It brings about the taking away of sin, if we'll cooperate with the graces given. And then Our Lady, or rather St. Elizabeth, gives us the second half of the Hail Mary. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. How is this that the mother of my Lord should come to me? And then Our Lady breaks into perhaps the most beautiful of all the canticles inspired by the Holy Ghost, the Magnifica. My soul doth magnify the Lord, she says. She wants no credit for herself. All she did was say yes to the Lord. We all should be saying yes to the Lord, no matter what he's asking of us. Some sacrifice or when he gives us good things, then we take them with a yes, Lord, I accept. But Our Lady, she said yes to becoming the mother of God, and she becomes the best of all women 
and the most the most beautiful, the most holy. She is the mother of God, the highest of all dignities among women. And yet she says, without any bit of pride, my soul magnifies the Lord. This prayer, by the way, is a very good exorcism prayer. When you're trying to win back a fallen away relative or things are going badly or you just want to get rid of the devils and they are everywhere. Never forget that. They're everywhere trying to disturb peace and equilibrium. They're trying to destroy your soul. Say that Magnificat frequently throughout the day. It's a good prayer to have memorized at some point too. Father Siordia always uses it and he said it was particularly powerful in his exorcism when he would sing the Magnificat. And he would notice that the devils would, that were possessing the different people would be troubled by that. The power of Our Lady and her canticle. But this is another thought too, and I'm giving you many little thoughts to help your meditation today. I think of Our Lady walking through the hill country for that long trip, and how many people passed her by and didn't even know who she was, let alone who she was carrying with her. That is, the God-man, the creator of all things. And I think of this often when I'm doing my sick calls back in Cincinnati, or even here now that the sick call list is growing. And like Our Lady, the priest carries God on his breast, through the streets and you drive by car after car or walk by person after person in different nursing homes and whatnot, very few people will even recognize you as a priest anymore, let alone do they know who you are carrying in the golden picks around your, uh, against your breast. It is just like that on this mystery of the visitation. So few people, in fact, no one except John the Baptist recognized who she was and who she was carrying. Let us pray for people for the extension of Christ's Eucharistic kingdom on earth, that more people might come to know and believe in this sacred mystery and know that if they come here, here is the solution to all of their problems. Our Lord on the altar and Mary, his mother, too. Let us then today resolve in in a sort of practical terms, be prompt like Our Lady was, festinante, hurry up to do acts of charity. Try today to go out of your way three times to do an act of charity for someone else. Let that be your practical resolution for your spiritual life today. Offer these acts of charity in honor of Our Lady who did her great act of charity as she went and for three months swept the floors and washed the dishes of her cousin Elizabeth. You will please Our Lady and raise your place in heaven forever and ever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.